Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merch Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five ways to pay a location commission. Always remember here at PDQ Merch Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Don't forget to join the free ATM Mastermind Group page. That's free to join for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business and be in a tremendous family-oriented community of other ATM business owners just like yourself. We also have the ATM A to Z book that teaches you from A to Z how to be successful in the ATM business. I took over 20 years of experience. I put it all in this little book and this will help you guys navigate through the muddy waters of the ATM business. It's real thin and you know what? It's got my picture on the back so if when you turn it over at night when you sign your coffee table you can still see me. But hey, you know what? There are a little bit of a disadvantages. But thank you very much. We also have the ATM A to Z Master Course that teaches you from A to Z how to be successful in the ATM business. We took over 70 videos for your easy viewing pleasure. We also have in our document vault location agreements, service agreements, mobile agreements, and vault cash agreements in case you want to give your vault cash to somebody else and let them handle your ATM. We got that right in our ATM document vault. Without further ado, the top five ways to pay a location commission. All right, point number one. Now, this is the one that a lot of people do is they pay by check. So every month they write out a check and they also put in a statement. Here's my thing is I'm against this way of doing it because over the years I found it becomes very cumbersome for me to do this. Every month I started, when I first started out, we only had you know two, three, four checks to write. Then it was five, then it was 10, then it was 15, then it was 20, and it was just a nightmare. I'm like, ugh. It wasn't the money given away, although I didn't like that, but it, but it really was is the effort that I had to write a check every month, had to get the statement, print it out, and put it in into the envelope and then send that out. And I know sometimes people through the ATM community, what they do is they like to hand those checks out. Well, here's the problem with that, is when you go to location, if the owner's not there, now you have a check in hand, now you have to give it to the store clerk or the assistant manager or somebody, sometimes those checks gets lost. They say, hey, I didn't get my check this month, and that whole thing is a nightmare. And then you got to track down and it was a lot of work. I decided, you know what, I want to stay away from the checks and I just want to go to point number two is the ACH. That stands for Automatic Clearing House is what it is. Basically, it's a direct deposit every month into your customer's bank account for their commission. That way I email them a, I email them a statement so they get the statement and then we also, what we do is we ACH that money right in there. So now, you know what, from time to time they would say, oh, you know what, I didn't, I didn't get that, I didn't see that. We can give them all trace numbers for every month that was ever deposited. We have emails that send them for how much they're supposed to receive and it, and it automatically. So right now, let's say we come to the end of the month or beginning of the month, the first of the month, every first of the month, they get the email and between the third and the tenth of the month, they get their commissions. So it made it very easy, very transparent and at the end of the year, we just email them over their 1099 if they make $600 or more. So it was a very simple system, and that's how we decided the best possible way. So that's a, I'm in favor of the ACH. Point number three is how do we pay? We pay per transaction. Now, a lot of people in the business, they're, they're asking, well, Phil, do I pay a percentage of how much I dispense? Do I percent, Do I pay, if I dispense $10,000, do they get a percentage of that? How does it work? know what it is, is it's the amount, it's on the amount of transactions you do. You do 100 transactions and you have a $3 surcharge. Now I always recommend you give them anywhere from 10 to 30%. So in this example, let's say we give 10%, that would be uh, 30 cents. Now I don't do it as a percentage, I do it as a per transaction fee. So on $3, in my head, 10% is 30 cents. So I'm gonna give them somewhere between 25 and 50 50 cents per transaction. So let's just say I give them 25 cents, and now every transaction they make 20, 25 cents. If I choose to go a little bit more, I give them 50 cents. On a Rockstar location, keep in mind, you will probably have to give them half of the surcharge to be $1.50, but that is a phenomenal location. That's gonna be something that does excess of two, two to 500 transactions or more a month. That's probably where that's gonna be, just to keep you guys in mind of what's going on. But that's what we try to do is always just try to give them per transaction 
uh, 25, 50 cents, that's usually the winning strategy. Point number four, percentage of surcharge. We just talked about that. What a, what a lot of times will happen, you'll talk to a store owner and they'll say, well, how much, am I, how much am I gonna make of the surcharge? Always revert back to point number three, which is I'm gonna give you a per transaction, 50 cents, 25 cents, something like that. Don't, don't say it's a percentage because now, if you are at a $2 for a transaction, you're giving them a uh, dollar, they think, you know, it's 50 cents, you raise it to three, they want that extra 50 cent increase. And so, uh, you know what, the reason we would raise the surcharge is because we need to make a little bit more for ourselves, not necessarily for the store owner. They're already getting the benefit of all the money walking in the door that they're dispensing. And remember, 80% of what's dispensed on the ATM goes right into their store. So you're trying to make a little bit more, maybe gas went up, fuel went up, inflation happened, something changed, and you know what, you want to raise that surcharge so you can put a little bit more money in your pocket so you can pay things. So. If you give them a percentage, that takes away your advantage. It's not a good situation. So always try to stay away from that percentage. It might be 50%, you might be giving them, but don't say it 50%. It's a per transaction, and that's what you wanna tell them. And point number five, this is the flat rate. Phil, what's the flat rate? The flat rate is that you guarantee them X amount of dollars. Essentially, you're just paying for the square footage of the store. So what's that dollar amount? That's gonna be up to you. There are a lot of deals out there where a guy's been in there year after year after year, a long time, and, and what happens is the surcharges go up and down, and the store owner says, hey, I, you know what? I just wanna be guaranteed X amount of dollars. Maybe it's $200 a month, maybe it's three. I heard as much as $1,500 for a 24-hour truck stop that's open all the time, they go through tons of cash, and because, you know what, the guy was up against the wall at one time, probably, and there was another competitor who said, I'll give you this, so the guy probably matched it. I'm not a big advocate of, of the flat rate, but it is out there, and you guys should be aware of it, that people are out there in the business, and they'll pay them you know, $50 a month guarantee, or 25 or whatever it is, just to keep that location, and it is out there. I'm not, I don't do that. I always walk away from those deals. It's too much guesswork, too much risk for me, but it is out there, so I just wanna let you guys know. So, hope those tips are helpful. Always remember that we have the ATM A to Z Masterclass that teaches you from A to Z how to be successful in the ATM business. Just click the link down below and enter in. We have a free webinar that will help you guys start your ATM business today. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys over at the ATM Mastermind Group page.